Howdy. So, uh, I had promised a couple people that I'd, uh, show my, uh, my new slider. Um, this is a double slider in that, uh, both sides of the slider actually move. And I'll come up close in a minute. And I'm sorry, I'm right next to a highway. It's a great location, pretty, but there's a highway directly behind me. So I'm speaking up loud, hopefully it's loud enough. Um, so the slider, uh, the, the top plate that the camera's on slides, and the mount to the tripod slides. So that you get double the distance. So it's a half a meter, and you end up with about a meter of total travel. Um, and the way I designed this is that the motor that's on there actually comes off, and you can use it manually just by taking the motor off. Um, it's two Allen bolts to get it off, and uh, it works. So let me get you up close. Okay, so here's the... Uh, the back end of the slider here. On the right you can see the motor mount um, uses a herringbone gear and a NEMA 17 stepper and I have a 5 to 1 planetary gear uh, that I printed uh, on there as well. Um, because this is fairly heavy rig up here <laughs> my camera weighs three pounds before you put that uh, that mount on there. Um, all this wiring I'll clean up later but uh, for right now, I just want to take it out for a test run. But the, um, I, I already have a video up on my, uh, my pan and tilt head. This is what I intended it for. And I can use it without having to take my big slider out. Um, yeah, this is relatively portable. It's still kind of big. And the controls is this big mess of wires down here. It's kind of dark. So, here. So it's kind of dark, so I re, uh, redid the camera settings. Um, like I said, this is the uh, controllers. It's two mini engines that I have running together. And uh, the one on the right takes care of the slider. The one on the left takes care of the, the pan and tilt. The one on the left is acting as the master. The one on the right is acting as the slave. Um, underneath it, I have a 12 volt battery and everything's wired in. I still got to get a case for the controller on the left. And I'm going to redo the case on the right. That's from before I had a 3D printer. So I will redo it. But uh, let me bring it up close on the slider. And you can see how the bottom plate actually moves in relationship to the rail. So you get double the distance. The belt is hooked up to the top plate and the bottom plate. Uh, and nowhere else. The motor spins on the back here and that's what's turning it and right now I'm doing a time-lapse but I, both, I can also use it for video. Um, I got a couple of video shots as well and I'll put those in here. Um, like I, said, I, I haven't put the design for the slider up on Thingiverse yet because it's still a work in progress and uh, it's probably I'll leave it as a work in progress on there but it works. So some things I'm probably going to change though is right now I'm using GT2 um, belts and I think I'm going to go to MXL because they have bigger teeth and uh, this is fairly heavy as you're lifting. Um, it doesn't slip but I worry over time it will. The other thing I'm probably going to do is get an actual geared stepper um, and probably something around 15 to 20 to 1 which when combined with that herringbone gear will give me around 100 to 1 um, and I'm hoping then I can do vertical. Um, this will do inclines but only about 15 degrees maybe 20. Beyond that it, the, the stepper just bottoms, bottoms out. Um, but I do like the stepper that I have here and I'll probably put it on the uh, the pan and tilt head. And I'm a firefighter. That's my pager going off. I won't be making that call. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, I'll have a separate video with the actual video from tonight, and um, this is kind of a brief intro to it. Yeah, and there's some things I need to work on. Let me come up over here on the bottom where I'll be out of the frame. Oh, 
the belt tensioning system that I'm using currently, it's hard to see. It puts a, uh, an angle on the belt that I don't like. So I need to fix that. Um, what I really need to do is put it inside the channel, and uh, but I gotta figure out a way to do it still and make it adjustable. Suppose I could just have it adjustable on the top, and that might be what I end up doing. Um, we'll see. But uh, everything else seems to work. It's you know, fairly slick and compact. It gives you a little bit of motion. My other one is six feet long, which gives you a lot of motion. But this is um, a heck of a lot more portable. So, yeah, I figured I'd show it off and let people see it. Now, it's not, there, there are commercial units that do this stuff that are more rigid. And uh, when I did the original design for this pan and tilt, this part here was plastic. I swapped that out with metal. And I have a metal bracket for here that I'm going to swap out to. Um, I just got to print a new plate to make it compatible. Um, yeah, it's nice to have the 3D printed parts, but I don't want to, uh, I don't want to sacrifice stability. And I have a little bit of wobble at times. And it comes from those mounts. Um, that and the mount of the plate also does some wobbling at times. So, but, uh, you know, it's a work in progress. So, until next time. Thanks for watching.